Hello, my name's Hannah Crawford. I'm a speech and language therapist and I work with people with learning disabilities. I'm here to tell you about eating and drinking difficulties or dysphagia. Signs and symptoms of dysphagia could be difficulties or struggling with eating and drinking and that could mean that children have difficulties developing sucking and chewing skills. They might have long meal times or you may see coughing and choking at meal times. Sometimes children's bodies might stiffen while they're feeding. They may have food or fluid come down their nose. They may spit up or vomit often and they might have aversion or, or seem to dislike particular foods or particular tastes or particular textures. They may have behavioural difficulties at meal times and meal times might be quite distressing for them. Problems with eating and drinking can lead to difficulties maintaining weight or developing weight at the rate that children need to. And this may lead to dehydration and malnutrition. Where problems are particularly severe, children may have chest infections and it can be particularly distressing for children and for families. Children who may be more likely to have problems with eating and drinking are children who have been born prematurely, children who have a cleft lip or palate or other structural problems of their face or mouth, children who have cerebral palsy or children who have some sort of developmental delay. Some children have problems with eating and drinking where their medical problems may have made it difficult for them to eat or reluctant to eat. If you think that your child has difficulties with eating and drinking, it's important to talk to your GP quite quickly or your paediatrician and they may refer you to see a speech and language therapist or an occupational therapist or a psychologist. There's also lots of advice on the web pages of the Royal College of Speech and Language Therapists.